All right, this is for the week of June 1st to the 5th. And what we're looking at is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be having at 10 a.m. an advisory meeting where students can join in and share what they've done for leadership. Now, there's a few students for each class that have chosen to share some of the work they've done during uh, our distance learning experience. And this will be the time to do that. If students haven't done any leadership points yet, uh, there are, there's still time to get that done. And there's numerous things on the website. In fact, let me scroll down. Woo, if we go down the page here, anytime it says leadership opportunity, that is just what it is. You essentially do the experience and then make a blog post and reflect on what you learned from the experience, what was interesting about it. I'm expecting a couple paragraphs of reflective writing about what you experienced with that. And pretty much anything that is career uh, or related to the content of the class is eligible. And so the career uh, at home uh, uh, events that are happening every day, those work and Career Connect and you'll see those. Um, so that is something. And right here, for instance, uh, Carly Sertik is going to be working with us. We're very fortunate to have her coming in on Thursday at 10 a.m. She's a graphic designer that's worked on a lot of uh, Hollywood films. And so she's gonna talk about her experience with that. So if you come join us for this and then do a blog post about it, that counts for leadership. And uh, I'll come back to the resume in just a moment. So right here, again, great opportunities. I've had this posted for a number of weeks that you can do. Um, we had a game design challenge, which is due next Saturday, June 6th. You could still join that if you wanted. <laughs> um, it's actually due though uh, before that because we need to get all the work in. So you go to this page to find out more about that, but it's pretty late for that one. Career Connect, that's happening just about every day this week. And those will be coming out. I do a remind, uh, send te uh, blog, <laughs> text every day of the particular episode. You'll get that at like nine o'clock in the morning and I do that. Uh, Women in Media is happening Fridays at 11. That's been going on for weeks and that's pretty exciting. We also have the kind of film festival, which is going to be uh, the following week. And both Jordy and Grayson, who are Capital students, are one of the top three films chosen for them. That's pretty exciting, so stay tuned for that. And yes, and some more options down here. Um, this part of the schedule has been here ever since we started this experience, this distance learning experience. I have daily reminds coming out. If you want to join those, you can type in the code. Uh, it's CHS IB Film for the film class, CH, uh, CHS Rock, and CHS Game. Um, and again, you look at your daily schedule, you see I'm on the film schedule right now, and all the classes have similar kind of work, so I'm just using the film schedule as an example. Uh, and at the bottom here, distance learning resources we've been using or have access to throughout the experience. And if you're wondering what's happened in the past, always look at the previous weeks, and you can see during week 17, these were the things that we were focusing on. That has been the same for years uh, and since I've been publishing our website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back to the top and I want to um, explain just a little bit more about each one of these in detail. And again, if this is helpful for you. So we talked about the advisory meetings are going to be at 10 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Film is Monday. Game is Tuesday. And Rock is Wednesday. And you have the link there to do so. We are having a YubiKey session at 10.30 on Friday, and this is a follow-up to the survey that was conducted uh, earlier in the year when you got your YubiKey, which is really exciting. Portland State University is doing research on how students of this age range uh, deal with cybersecurity, how seriously they take it, et cetera, et cetera. And so we're going to have a question uh, and answer session with three major main questions coming out, um, and that'll be at Friday 10.30. And we need as many people to participate as possible. It's optional, but I would love your input because you're awesome. And we've already talked about Carly Sertic, requirements for the rest of the year. This is where uh, a number of people have had questions about the resume. Everybody needs to make a resume. I have a template for you right here. When you click on this link, it takes you to a Google form that we, our Google document that we created that's a template. And uh, make a copy for your own Bluegle, uh, Bluegle? <laughs> make a copy for your own Google account, and then start filling it in. 
It doesn't have to be completed, but I want to see that you made an attempt to start filling it out. If you already have a resume, just share it with me in the Googleverse. You can email me a copy or share it in Google, whatever's easier for you. Recommendation. This, if you're a junior or senior, you have a LinkedIn account, go in there, make a recommendation for somebody else in, in class. And this will necessitate you communicating with that other person to one, be accepted into their network, and two, to have them accept the recommendation you write. And those both have to happen, otherwise you don't get credit because the recommendation won't show up on their page until they approve it. They should not approve it if there's typos. And so if you have typos, you wanna um, communicate with each other to get that clarified. If you're a freshman or sophomore or not 16, then you're making a blog post and right here it says LinkedIn recommendation, insert the person's first name and last initial. So if I'm writing a recommendation for Scott LeDuc, it would be LinkedIn recommendation for Scott L. And the reason we're, I'm calling it LinkedIn, even though it's just on your blog, is you're formatting it as if it would go onto LinkedIn and it could potentially go there in the future. So I want you to follow that format and that process. Uh, we've already talked about leadership assignments. And again, you could have read a book you could have done a number of different things. And if you're not sure what to do for leadership, show up at 10 o'clock for your class meeting Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And we can clarify then. And you won't get credit for just being there if you haven't done anything, but I can clarify while we're talking in Zoom uh, what your options are still this week. And there are many, so show up if you're not sure. And yeah, all right, I hope that makes sense. Uh, oh, I am going to click on a couple things here. The media resume template, when I click on this, it takes me over to a full rundown of what to do with this. Now, I created this because I know a number of people had questions. And so when you scroll down here, you will see step by step what you need to do for filling in the information, getting a copy, and so on and so forth. And as I scroll down the page here, you can see the material and I have a video, Woo. guess what? It's me talking about how to do the resume. Fill this out. First off, fill in the information you have at this point. So you can watch the video, hey, that's me, it's super fun. Um, again, that resource is linked right off of our schedule. If you're not sure what to do with the resume piece, that's right there. And for the recommendation, five powerful steps, this document uh, I created, and you can see here, well, it's not really loading completely, but there's five steps down here. You need to have one sentence for each one of these steps. And if I zoom out a smidge here, and you can see that it actually has five steps. You need five, at least five sentences, and you want to apply a sentence for each one of these concepts. And when I zoom in, you will see that you start off with a knockout line. Now over on this side, I explain in more detail what a knockout line is. And then in gray down here, in this case, there's two examples. There you go. So you have some examples here that could help you, whether you're doing this in the blog post or whether you're doing it in LinkedIn, you know, writing it up in LinkedIn. Either way, this is the template I want you to follow. Okay, I think I'm coming to a close here. This video is a little bit longer, but I, I'm trying to pre-answer because a lot of students have reached out to me with clarifying questions about the different assignments over the last few weeks and that's why this video is kind of like a one-stop shopping thing uh, for the recommendations and the resume and the leadership points. There, I think I've covered what I need to cover and always read the schedule. I keep this update updated and you can check here to see if anything's changed. If things have changed it would just be above the line where it says previous week. I don't want all the stuff down here is older. I don't touch that. And most likely the distance learning resources haven't changed. The daily remind has not changed. There may have been changes to different op options for leadership, um, but definitely there's changes that can happen up here. Basically the most current stuff will be at the very top of the page. And that could be any of this stuff here. All right, this video has been long enough. Thank you for watching.